open default template. Go to 3D world and delete unnecessary stuff. Go to asset library and double click on cube. Rename it to ground and select collision shape as platform. Double click on ground asset and select start node. Enable physics and under type select static. Go back to 3D world. Import your character. Drag character asset under characters. Select your actor asset collision shape as character. Now double click on your actor asset and select start node. Enable physics and type is automatically dynamic. Change friction to 20. So your character stops moving when releasing moving button. Set your rotation factor values to 0 and position factor Z to 0. Go back to 3D world and select 2D mode. Import your background images. Change background image Z position to negative value, so you can see your character. In this example, I want to display sky image behind background images. So I set background Z value to minus 1, and sky image Z value to minus 2. Select camera, and under position follow, select character. Also, change camera scale, depending if you want to zoom in or out. Quick test. Oops. There is no ground. Don't forget to disable collision shape mode if you want to move objects around. Now I pick what color ground should be. Disable 2D mode for better view. Enable 2D mode again and adjust ground position. Another quick test. Character's collision shape is wrong. Enable collision shape mode and fix it. and quick test if it is working. Nice.
and if you want landscape view, click settings button, and under orientation, choose landscape. Double click on actor asset. Open controls menu. Let's add keyboard buttons to move character. With A, D, W, and S keys you can duplicate, first button is right arrow. Second is left arrow. And third is J key. Now open movements menu. We need two move nodes to move right and left. Set speed X value to positive number and Z must be zero. Leave Y empty. For moving left, set X value to negative, Z to zero, and Y empty. Y must be empty or gravity stops working. Now drag jump node and set Y value and jump limit. Connect keyboard nodes to moving nodes. Open action menu and drag if collide node. Affected asset is platform. Connect it with start node and collide output with jump reset option. Quick test. Jump does not reset. Back to 3D world and edit actor's collision shape when it collides with platform. Quick test again. And jumping is working. Yay. Back to actor's asset node map. Open advanced menu and drag state machine node. This is necessary for animations. Click plus button to add value. Name them walk right, right idle, walk left, left idle, and jump. Now connect these with keyboard button nodes. Walk when pressed, and idle when released. Delete animation node. And under content menu, drag animation node. Give it a name, uncheck 3D mode, and drag animation PNG files. Duplicate that node and change name to walk left. On animation image, click pen icon and change scale X value to negative. It changes image direction. Now drag another animation node for idle animation.
drag your PNG files and duplicate it. Same process. Change name and set scale to negative. Drag another animation node, and this is for jumping. Now connect start node with right idle and state node. And output options to correct animations. Let's test. Jumping animation is looping, and that's not good. Open Jump Animation Editor and disable looping. Also change Y value, because after landing, character was above ground. and edit walking animation height also. This is end of part 1. Save your game, and thank you for watching. More advanced content, like shooting, enemies and health bar, is coming soon.